Hi everybody, it's GameMindubber98 here and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Last time Peach got kidnapped! Again! And then this part, we're just gonna carry on collecting shine sprites. And oh my word, today is so boring! I am not kidding! But we're starting with Bianco Hills Episode 4, Red Coins of Windmill Village. This is actually the first instance of red coins in this game. There are red coin missions in this game. Just like in Super Mario 64, you've got to collect eight of them. It's strange that it's boring because it's a Saturday afternoon. It's normally the Sundays that are more, worse. But either way, we got some we got these to collect. Red coins. They're only available on the episode that you choose them on. Huh? Oh. Just checking. Alright. Some of these type ropes were definitely not here before. Come on, you can make it. Okay. Four. Oh gear. Oh god. This annoying thing. Well, whatever. Just spray this thing and it will rotate around. Just keep spraying. Oh dear. I think I missed my target. Well, in that case, oh! Okay, there we go. There's also a blue coin that you probably already saw. Let's get out of here. Come on. Spray! Spray! Where'd that coin come from? Ah! Come on, I am getting back up, no questions asked. Spray first, ask questions later. There we go. And there's another blue coin right there. Let's keep going. Oh no! Oh! Oh, well. Not bad. Keep going. Oh, there's a blue coin right over there, but I. Uh, I know I can reach that now, but I'd rather not right now. I mean, am I? How did I run low on water? What? How am I running low on water? Come on, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Yes. Sorry about that. Oh, oh yeah, this thing. Water for balloon bombs, huh? Sounds good to me. Points get all full of water and then they go BOOM! Hee <laughs> hee! Yeah, these things, they'll cling on to your flood nozzle. The only way to get rid of them is to fill with water. And they'll just... Or you could get rid of more too just by switching to the hover nozzle and you just like disappear into oblivion. Until I've gotten you a good hell, I don't feel like my day started. Huh? Hey! I'm not supposed to go up here yet. Ugh, I need more water. I'm all out. Quack. But yeah, if we hit the blue box, it will actually give us the hover nozzle. Which is a bit strange, but it refills us. So that's handy. Where's the rest of the blue co- Okay. Red coins. I know where the last one is. It's a bit of a pain to get. I 
and while I'm going there, I actually wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday. Mm. You see, yesterday I actually found out that one of the Game Boy games I had all these years was a fake. My Pokemon Yellow game was a fake this whole time. I could tell because the box was really flimsy and cheaply made. And... Well, the other reason I found it was because I got myself a game bit at long last. It's a special type of screwdriver that lets you just open up most Nintendo console... Well, most Nintendo games. Well, let's see, it opens up NES, Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy, and Game Boy Color. Those are the ones it works with. Just opens the games up. Where's that thing? Uh, where's it gone? It's supposed to be. A oh wait, no, no, that's wrong. I'm thinking of a different chapter. And where's the other red coin gone? Um. Oh my word. No way. Uh, Mario, I don't freak out. Oh, there, there, there. I saw it. There we go. And it appears just where we were. How nice. Yeah, you think this red coin mission stumped me for a bit? The red coin missions do get worse later on. Much worse. So, you better enjoy those. Now, I know what some of you might be asking. What do you plan to do with that Pokemon Yellow game if it's fake? Well, I don't want to keep it. I want to. I want to. I want to destroy it. But some a friend actually says he wants it, so I guess I have no choice but to mail it to him. Uh, sometime in the next few days, I have to ask him next time he's free so he can get it. All right, the brightness is expanded. That's not the way to go, you silly boo. Silly boo. What? Why did I say silly boo? There we go. We're going to Rico Harbor next. The case to shine sprite. This is where the um, scene changes slightly. Like that mesh maze is no longer around. But just like before, we'll have to just follow the arrows. Oh, before I didn't grab on. Oh. There we go. Okay, just wait for the thing to come by. If you want to get rid of these spiders, you have to be on the opposite side of them and then just punch with B. And there you go. Oh, here comes the, here comes the crane. Right. There's still goop around here though, which is odd. And you know, this is actually pretty convenient. You can actually spray your s flood. Oh! You can use the squirt nozzle. Oh no. No! No! I don't know how to get back up. Oh wait, yeah, I can just get back up there. Only the squirt nozzle though can we spray through the mesh. Oh great, I'm gonna have to wait. Come on, I don't want to do any big 
big sequence breaks because I'm doing this the way the developers want it to be done. There we go. You, you die. You too. Oh, that was close. Wow, you made it all the way here. Hey, by the way, have you spoken to the guy on the roof over there? Where? Uh, oh, I, see, I think I see him, but well, let's not bother with that. Get rid of the bloopers. Get rid of all of them. Watch out for the bubbers. I believe they're bubbers, not cheap cheeps, because they're just too different to be cheap cheeps. Now where do you go? You have to go this way. Uh Please don't hit me! Uh. Get rid of you. And you can hear the shine sprite. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. We're actually meant to go this way. Get on top of get on this. And you notice that red box over there is not is not well, it's not transparent like the other ones we saw, which means we can actually get a brand new nozzle. Say hello to... The Rocket Nozzle. This this will temporarily replace the Hover Nozzle, because even though there are four different nozzles in the game, you can only have two at a time. You always have the Squirt Nozzle. Oh, that was close. But you can only, you can only have one secondary nozzle. If you want to get the Hover Nozzle again... Why did I jump? If you want to get the Hover Nozzle again... You just have to find a blue box. And you'll be in there. As you can see, the rocket nozzle will send us flying skyward quite high. But not quite high enough to get up there because this game. Oh, okay, that'll do. Ah. Oh, I'm having a bit of a mess here. Oh, the camera just doesn't want to work. But with the rocket nozzle, we can get a blue coin. There we go. It uses up a fair bit of water every time you use it, though, so you might want to be careful. Now, you will be able to get the rocket nozzle and the fourth nozzle in Delfino Plaza after a certain time. Have to collect a certain amount of shine sprites, so just keep that in mind. But when you find one of these sec one of these special nozzles somewhere in the level, then you can use it in that level. Just as long as you find the appropriate box. And there's our shine sprite at last. That took a little longer than I hoped, but shine. So I'm going to do episode 4 of Rico Harbor next. Uh, I don't sound very happy, do I? Because I'm bored the hell. Let's see, episode 4, The Secret of Rico Harbor. The Secret of Rico Harbor. Rico Tower. Now there's one thing to remember, if if an if a mission has secret in the word, well in the mission title more like, then that means there will be one of those floodless levels to find. More goop, who would have thought? Uh no, get back. Yee ha ha! I remember I missed a blue coin around this bit somewhere. It's 
far above me, isn't it? Well, there's one there, but wasn't there another? Oh no! No, you get back here. There we go. Now, by default, you do need the rocket nozzle to actually get this shine sprite. Ah, no! But the, sh but the rocket nozzle isn't anywhere near the tower. Or you guys have a nozzle. Hooray! But I can do this. No, wait, no, I can't, no, I can't. Well, I can, I can, but there's a blue coin. Not the one you just saw. A different one. <sighs> you know what, I'm starting to think... I think I did not make the best choices for this Mario May thing. I mean, for one thing, these LPs aren't just getting as many views as Poké Park 2 did. I think Poké Park 2 only really got the views it did because, well, it was blind and people love blind LPs because they're... Well, they're freaking hilarious. Ow! Damn, that must have hurt. But, you know, when my 15th LP comes around, things will be different. Oh, I just felt a twinge in my back. Oh, nearly. There we go. Woohoo! Oh. Okay, let's jump before that. There we go. Now just enter the top of this tower. It's actually a solid wall, and we have a floodless level, like I told you. Does this look familiar to any more recent gamers because it is this this floodless section actually reappeared in Super Mario Galaxy 2's e World S has twisty trial twisty trials twisty trials and I've seriously been neglecting the one-up mushrooms there we go Oh. <laughs> so, as you can see, you just got these rotating log block fingers, and you just had to make your request them. The only problem is the physics can. B the physics are a little unusual in some cases. Oh, come on! See, look at that! I told you, the physics are so weird on this. Another example of pretty bad debugging. Forget what I said about the camera. The camera is clunky in this game. It's not smooth. It's not very smooth. It just isn't very smooth. It goes through wars a lot. And when it goes through wars, for some reason, items and NPCs turn into question marks. When the as long as the camera's behind the wall, and sometimes, and look, even Mario just has a shadow, a blue shadow. He's like Shadow Mario. And sometimes, if the camera is in a wall, you actually have like a spotlight around Mario, with the outside being all blue. What's up with the camera in this game? It's so weird. But believe me when I say this, some of these floodless levels get a lot more sinister later. There are some really nasty ones. It's bad enough you have to go to them twice if you want to 100% the game. Because now that we have seen a red coin mission, that's what the second shine sprite is in each of these floodless levels. It is a red coin challenge under a time limit. But you actually have floods, so arguably... Some of the red coin missions can actually be easier than the first star thems well not star, but you know, first shine sprite themselves. Sh 
shine! Now, I'm not done just yet. I can get one more shine sprite pretty quickly. The next event won't happen until we've cleared episode 4 of Pina Park. That's something I will be doing along the way. Over here are these tiny little islets. We were already here before though. But here there's a warp pipe. This will lead to a hidden course. There's several hidden little courses in Delphino Plaza itself as well, like this one. But this one's pretty easy, just going down this huge slide. You can even cheat by jumping, and you skip a lot of it. <laughs> and that's it. So, that will do it for today. We did what we did today. And the next next time we're going to do what we will do. So until next time, see you later.